The Harvard Daguerreotype Collection. From the 1840s on to 1850. From Harvard Library in Cambridge, Massachusetts. They have famous folks like Oliver Wendell Holmes and Ralph Waldo Emerson. But most of the daguerreotypes are just average people. And I went through the collection of thousands to give you these samples. Um, people of all ages, mostly images of people, portraits, but a few others that are very interesting. Here's a young lady. It's fun to look back. They weren't wearing ties back then. They didn't have color, but they could colorize them. Some people had beards and other people didn't. I collect daguerreotypes and I recommend it. It's very fun to find some. They still have them out there. Look at this lady. She must have been born in the 1700s. Sometimes they would have couples together. More often they would have them in separate side-by-side -side pictures. Here's a young lady. They're side-by-side, -side, husband and wife. The frames often had velvet around them and gold coloring, which makes them even more special. It's like stepping back into time. Here is a picture I love of a wagon with a horse. And if you go online and digital collections, you can actually zoom in on that picture and every other picture. People always dressed up for these photos, these daguerreotypes, they're not really photos but they were their version of photos. There are more photographs taken in like 10 minutes than there were in the whole 1800s, uh, images like these. Technology has really changed. My second favorite photo or daguerreotype is this one, a cityscape. This one was colorized. He looks really mean and harsh. Look at the flowers were colorized. The tablecloth here was colorized. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks very much for watching.